And hey, and welcome back to our YouTube channel of Wondershare Dr. Phone. And today we're going to be talking about some pretty appropriate ways that you can use to restore your iCloud backup and your iOS device without having to reset it. Before we get into the details, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you never miss any videos. Now, are you ready? Because we're going to dive right in. Part 1. The official way to restore iPhone from iCloud Backup So what better way would there be to restore the data from iCloud Backup than the official method itself? If you're looking to restore the backup data across an iPhone, there, there needs to be a backup file available to begin with from iCloud as it is already. You can backup your device this way exactly. Uh, so first go ahead and launch the settings option on your iPhone and then go ahead and tap on the profile information on the top of your screen and then lead over onto the iCloud option on the next screen in order to access the iCloud and settings across your current iPhone. On the next screen, go ahead and click on the iCloud backup option in the list and then turn on the toggle across the screen in order to create an iCloud backup of your iPhone. And with an iCloud backup file with you, you can now consider restoring that data from iCloud onto your iPhone for multiple scenarios. Now, restoring data from iCloud backup on a new iPhone. So if you have recently bought a new iPhone and want to shift all of your data into this new device, you can surely just use the created iCloud backups for restoring the data across this new device. And to do this, just go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. So step one, so turn on your new iPhone and follow the instructions in order to proceed to the subsequent screens. And then once you are in the app and data section, find the option of restore from iCloud backup and then provide your, your Apple ID for accessing the iCloud data and then select the specific backup file that you want to restore back to your device. And now restoring data from iCloud backup on a used iPhone. So what should one do if they have a used iPhone with them and they have to restore their data across their device from the iCloud backup. So for this, you first need to have a factory reset. Then we'll follow into the restoration of the data from the iCloud backup. We've actually gone ahead and provided the complete technique in order to make this happen for you. So here are going to be the steps. So step one is going to be to open up the settings and then go over to general. And there you need to find the transfer or reset iPhone option by scrolling down on the screen. As you lead into the next screen, go ahead and click on the Erase All Contents and, and Settings and then follow the on-screen instructions as you factory reset your iPhone. Now this process powers off your iPhone for proper resetting. However, when it turns back on, it leads over into the device setup procedure. And once you get into that point, I just need to access the Apps and Data screen and then choose the option of Restore from iCloud Backup from the provided list and sign in with your Apple ID and password and then select iCloud Backup that you want to restore from there. So for part two, how to restore from iCloud Backup without resetting at all. So resetting the iPhone does not sound appropriate if a small section of your data gets deleted due to unprecedented reasons. So many users won't really prefer resetting their device for restoring a set of data from iCloud, which makes it difficult to interpret how one can actually use the direct method of restoring data from iCloud. In such circumstances, you really just need to look ahead to better techniques in order to making this happen without having to restore your device. Now, this might worry you as finding such a method may get a little bit difficult. Uh, you really should not sweat it as we've actually got the perfect method for you. And that's going to be through Dr. Phone, Phone Backup for iOS. Now, this is going to be the exact right tool in order to restore your iCloud backup without resetting your iOS device. And while this tool is known for its simple interface, it makes the complete process too easy to cover for all users, essentially. And with the automatic and, and the selective restoration of backup files through this platform, iCloud restoration gets fun. Now, first things first, I just make sure that you download and install the latest version of Dr. Phone on your computer. And launch it and then select Phone Backup from the available options. And you need to connect your iPhone to your computer. On the next screen, go ahead and choose the option of Restore to Proceed. Since you're working with iCloud, ensure that the option of Restore from iCloud Backup is selected in the left column and sign in with your Apple credentials from there. After you're logged into your iCloud successfully, you will find all of your iCloud Backup files on, on the next screen. 
and as you are aware already which file to download just go ahead and tap on the download file download option from there upon completion of the download all iCloud backup data will be displayed in categories across this new window and then you can preview and then select the specific data that you want to restore and then click on restore to device from there so for part three restore from iCloud backup not working here's exactly what to do as so what if you have a failed iCloud backup with you that cannot be restored across the device situations can cause many issues but you just need to be pretty careful with how you manage things so there can be multiple scenarios of, of iCloud backup failing out of which some might actually have to do with iCloud servers themselves and if you find the error if there was a problem loading your iCloud backups you can try checking the iCloud servers from the system status of the official website of Apple if you're showing a problem in the status just wait a little while before trying it again so what if photos and videos fail to restore so have you faced any kind of issues with restoring something specific from your iCloud backup well this problem can actually occur if a certain set of data is excluded from getting backed up across iCloud and to check if the option is enabled on your iCloud go ahead and look into the steps so launch the settings of your iPhone and then lead into your Apple profile and by clicking on the button on the top of the list. I need to select the option of iCloud in order to lead into the new screen and then check photos in the provided list and then see if you have enabled or disabled them. And if they are turned off, go ahead and click on them and then turn them on and that respective toggle should have been taken care of for future iCloud backups. So with that, we have come to an end of this video. With all these highlighted methods, I am hopeful that you'll be able to restore your iCloud backup as per your requirements and conditions. Uh, so if you liked our video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and, and subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell for more content just like this. So until next time, have a good one.